Kanji was Yugoslavian. He looked like those Greeks. Just like them. Different from German. He invented something, he said. I don't know, some engineer thing. Who invited the Turks to go to Germany? Probably the buyer. Because of his mentality. Not allowing them to work. But, you know, Germany is not Catholic. <clears throat> Bayern was. Exploitation is what Catholic is. And in Lutheran, we do not do that. Lutheran priests they have their fathers or families, they have wives. I don't know about that. I have no idea. Is there a confession? I don't know. But in any case, it's more like an advisor, right? Not a must. Not I have to remember. Yeah, I know that. In Catholic, you are publicly humiliated if you don't go to public confession. Because then you have to go in front and make a line and for everybody to see if you made the confession. Because you get that little thing, the oblate, is that little cookie thing. Yeah, the priest puts that into you. Yeah, only when you did confession. I learned so much. Yeah. Public humiliation. But that doesn't exist in the in the Lutheran country. So who built BMW by the way? Bayerische Motorenwerke. See, so the buyer wasn't feeling like a man. That's why he's such a sissy. And in Mexico, in the States, I tell you this much. It's an outrage. You know why the, the, the government, the United States government, wanted the Mexicans to do jornalero work? You know why? It's not even about the Mexicans. It's so the other people would actually dig nothing but tragársela, shut up, but being mistreated in their salaries. Because they were the Mexicans, and they're even worse off. See how mean that is? Yeah, it also opened a whole sector of society. Lazy shits. Who, are, of course, now were, like in Germany, jealous of the Mexicans because they had jobs. But on the other hand, they were too fine and too chic with their long nails, what the black people, to work it. So they complained and whiny, 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 yeah, trailer trash or what's or not. My jobs are taken by the foreigners. No, I can't have a job. Yeah, whiny shits. See what I'm up to? I said that I don't understand that you feel like diminished. Yeah, because Mexicans work hard. Que flojo que ni ocho cuartos. Not at all lazy. I, I had to. And they were joyful because now they got a salary for their jobs. Because in Mexico, guess what? They're still ascendarios, the fuckers. The one person who's got a car in a little pueblo and has to drive it one block or two blocks from his house just to show that he's the boss. He's gonna chingartelo, take it away from you. So no Mexicans are joyful, grateful even. I got a job, I got some income. So the perspective changed. And the same happened in Germany. German Bulgar shits. Now to complain that the Kanaka, the Gastarbeiter, the Ausländer, Kanaka is just a demeaning word for Turkish or, you know, those we don't, yada, yada, nada, nada. Yeah, we don't understand, so we can. Yeah, why any shit? Stefan was smart. But he went to the jail with the shits. I don't know what he did. I don't think he did. I don't know what he did. I don't give a shit. But there is a, it's a little, little door. Oh, that. I laughed about it. Yeah, okay. There is Zunzu. 
And it's an idiotic book. Oh yeah, it's the philosophy of the war, the art of war, Sun Tzu. S-O-N, Son Tzu. Is it T-Z-O-N-U-N Tzu? Yeah, totally the other. The art of war, what a shit book that is. So when I read the poetry at the, from the very first day, I have seen it a few times, I always smile about it. It said soon, I don't remember what it said, but I laugh about it, so I said, La puerta está abierta, por ella llegaste. I wanted to put llegaste, but that means something else right now for us. Because I'm not in it, llegaste. Like, yeah. But you know, we know stuff, so it's a lot of fun. And Mexicans know stuff, so they're funny. Bulgar funny, because they know two sides of the orange. That's why it's funny, but it's not funny if you don't bang, but you know, I just made the point. Just get it. Yeah, nervous laughter, that's makes you go, ah. and the constant talk, 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 because you're safe there, because everybody talks the same for generations now. Everywhere you go, it's the same. Yeah, not to engage, they'll talk. And they're safe because no, no one is gonna, you know, because they hate each other and they hurt each other and cheese and gossip. Why do I not like soap operas? Because the people are mean to each other. That's why I don't like him. Mean. La Cisania? Yeah, gossip. And how do you say Cisania in English now? Schemes of, ugh. Who's better, who's worse? You don't know. I look at the family and I look, oh wow, how great is that? Man, man. There are all sorts of people and all sorts of ages and genders and whatnot. How great is that? Any family I went, I looked in awe of all of them. Oh, look, what a diversity. Maybe that's what happened in Lado's family, that I looked at everyone the same. And I never looked at the oldest. Was it the oldest almost? But she's some crazy derailed lunatic bitch. That's how little I wait for my prince that I'm 46 now. I'm so Catholic. I don't know. I never looked at her like that. That was later, here, when I looked into that. What happened really? I just let them all be, like a little child. And look, and I'm still doing it, unless you attack me. And then I'm gonna give you my words, and I don't want the words. No one ever attacked me in Mexico. Only the man, macho man, man, the dumb bulgars on the street. That's an attack. And the one asshole bitch in that Ephraim office. And that's it, I walked off the premises. So I look at the things in awe, like a child, I look at it all. Why can we not all look in awe? At another person, see what you got? Or anything. The whole structure needs to be restructured in your minds, all of you. Yeah, address Mexicans because they get it. Right? (laughs) 